Good morning folk, welcome back to Cozy Badger Adventures. Instead of going out to explore, this weekend I've decided just to spend some time at home, clear my space, clear my mind, have a bit of a reset, I need to do some washing, I need to do my food shop, a bit of cleaning, get everything organised, nice and peaceful and calm, so I thought I'd bring you along for the journey. We got time on our side in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know that every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here at least to stay alive and the time that we share makes it all So this is our fridge, three of us share it. It's quite small, although the other two don't cook as much as me. But their stuff is on the right hand side. And then my stuff is on the left at the bottom, just for any larger things that won't fit onto the shelves. Then they have this middle shelf that I'm not going to touch. They can sort that out if they want. And then this top shelf is mine. So I keep my veg in the top right hand corner and any dairy or like pastes in the left keep it nice and neat so I know where to find everything. We do not have shelves in the door unfortunately so the milk kind of gets thrown in with the rest. Um, but yeah it can be tricky to manage but it is doable. I'm about to head out to the supermarket to do my weekly food shop. I cleared out the fridge before I got in the car. I always think that's a good idea so when you come back you don't need to worry about clearing out the old stuff and cleaning it and making sure you've got space for the new things. This way I know exactly what I've got in there, exactly what I need to get and I can come back and just pop it straight in which makes my life so much easier. Get the hard stuff out of the way first and then it'll all slide in nicely after. So let's buy some food. <laughs> Gently to the silent trees I 
won't forget You know the secrets of the late night breeze It's all pretend Don't you worry Slowly began to realize 
the living room done. One of them, I'm not going to touch the other one. There are three of us who live in this house um, and I'm not going to do all the cleaning. But that front room, I really enjoy it. It's where I sit to have my breakfast and lunch. I like watching the birds out the window, it's really cute. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that was nice and fresh and everything properly wiped down because I honestly don't know the last time that was done. Um, so I'm feeling a lot happier with that room. I'm going to focus on my room for now. It's not too bad, I've done a wash load this morning. Um, but at the moment I've just got beddings all scrunched, camera equipment everywhere, just bits and bobs. It's a very small room so a little bit of clutter like, is really noticeable. Um, I'll always start the week with really good intentions and then as I get more tired throughout like it just goes downhill and my makeup spot especially like I'll be straightening my hair throughout the week so my straighteners will be on the side I can't I can only just fit all my eyeshadow palettes in my makeup bag my toiletry bags just falling apart so yeah just give everything a bit of a going over make sure it's nice and clean and tidy clean room clean mind when clouds roll in and cover the moon will they manage to stand the ground without you I'm a gnarly tree cold naked lost in faith Sometimes I think I'm quite minimalist and then I look at my makeup collection and realise I'm definitely not. Like I'll try to be more eco-conscious with toiletries. So this is like two lots of shampoo, conditioner and a soap bar in a very small thing. Literally taking up three times the size is like 20 odd eyeshadow palettes. Some things are just really hard to balance. What's an island without a sea? better than it did before. I do obviously have a basket of stuff. Who doesn't have a basket for random things? Um, all makeup is contained. All my toiletries do fit in this travel bag. I absolutely love this travel bag and when I was looking for storage for my toiletries in this room it didn't make any sense to get anything new if this already works for me. Best thing I did was put one of these hooks that is out of focus is put one of these hooks on the wall just really cheap from my like Ikea Wilco um, you can stick them anywhere but it means this will hook on in the way I've positioned it it supports the weight of the bag so it's not it's quite heavy so it doesn't just full, pull on 
that and put too much pressure on it. It's just nicely supported and keeps everything open so it's very easily accessible. But for now, section done. Oh, this is hard to do one handed. So you can see with that that I really like having small bags in different places so everything has a place. If you're living somewhere quite small, like this is my room, I've got no wardrobe, like this chest of drawers is my only clothes storage. So when you don't have much space you really need to maximise it. That's why I love having different pouches on this side, it's my toiletry corner next to my mirrors. Um, here I've got, love these hanging things as well, this one is fastened on my pegs and just a sticky back, just a sticky back thing, I can't remember what they're called. Um, earring storage here, random tissues, first aid stuff. One other thing I really like is this little pot, so when I finish work, often I'm rushing off to go swimming or go to the gym, um, so I'll take my earrings off, pop them in here, and then at the end of the week I'll clear this out and pop them in my actual earring storage. Um, instead of trying to go through that faff every day, I find it quite easy to have like a little spot, it's out of sight, it's very convenient, and then pop it all the way at the end of the week. And I wear different earrings every day, so it ends up building up quite a lot sometimes, but it's a little things. you've got a single quilt or a double quilt, having a double sized duvet makes my life so much better because you get that overlap at the sides and you don't like get too cold when you turn over at night. Um, just something I did in the last couple of years and honestly, game changer. The poor excuse of a better one.
that's my room done. Very happy, nice and clean. Everything's in its place. Considering this is where I spend most of my time, it's nice just to have that clean house, clean mind vibe. Um, I'll be spending a lot of time in here today and tomorrow, so nice and chill. It smells really nice. Um, Febreze freshener, other brands available, recommend, it's really good. I don't do well with fra fragrance, so I've tried different reed sticks. I can't do scented candles, they just really like give me headaches and make my throat and my eyes itchy and water and it's not very pleasant. Um, but anything quite neutral and Febreze are quite good for that kind of thing. So yeah, very happy with my space. Last thing I'm going to tackle today is the kitchen. Um, got a pile of washing up to do, get everything sorted so when I go in there to cook later, everything is nice and clean and ready for me. Hassle than they're worth. Like, it's nice to be able to stack plates, but I swear they need more cleaning and looking after than the actual dishes. Suggestions welcome in the comments. I gotta tear this world apart to let you in. My friends say the time's running. happy with how everything turned out just everything's so clean it's in its right place lovely kitchen's done front room's done my bedroom's done I also hoovered my room and cleaned the bathroom which I wasn't planning on doing but you know if you're in the flow you gotta just carry on with it I really enjoyed making this video I hope you've enjoyed watching it as well I know watching people clean isn't the most thrilling thing in the world but sometimes you just need that little reset, declutter moment in life. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this or my days out, uh, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. See you